television programme. <laughs> now, I'm sure everyone watching this show has a TV licence because you can go to prison if you haven't got one. That would be a really rubbish conversation. <laughs> what are you in for? Murder. What about you? Six episodes of EastEnders. <laughs> Although that was murder. You should be able to get points on your TV license. <laughs> Got up early to watch Jeremy Kyle, three points. <laughs> Accidentally deleted that episode of Bake Off where Paul Hollywood says, caress the door with your fingers like a lover, <laughs> six points. <laughs> Top Gear on series link, lifetime ban. <laughs> Shows are all the rage on our telly at the moment, aren't they? Mad Men is a very successful series, but we had to watch with an older generation because I get the impression we're taking different things from it. I'm thinking, isn't it terrible the way they treated women back then? Well, my Uncle Terry's thinking, ah, those were the days. <laughs> 24 had the time on the screen. The only other place you get that over here is on breakfast telly. <laughs> I'd love to see Jack Bauer thrown to the weather. <laughs> We've all learned how to speak American from television, haven't we? Some of the words are quite confusing, though. For example, you might not know that the word scrumpin', which to us means stealing apples, in America, it means dry humping. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine getting those two mixed up. <laughs> and ending up with loads of apples. <laughs> Here are some other ones I've learned. They say sidewalk, we say crab. <laughs> now, you might not know all of these. They say eggplant, we say chicken. <laughs> they say icebox, we say guest bedroom. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> they say, have a nice day. We say, what are you looking at? <laughs> they say, ladybug. We say, chlamydia. <laughs> One of my favourite American shows is Friends. I've seen the cast more than my actual friends. <laughs> it's still a really funny show, but they couldn't make it now. It'd just be six people sitting in a coffee shop looking at their phones. <laughs> and I've changed since it started on telly. Now we'll look at Monica in a fat suit and think she looks all right. <laughs> Here are some episodes they never made. The one where Joey's knob falls off. <laughs> The one where Phoebe stands alongside her twin. <laughs> and the one where Gunther is arrested for wanking in the coffee. <laughs> of course, one of the best shows to come out of America is Homeland. Essentially, it's a woman trying to work out if a bloke is lying to her. I'll save you the trouble of, probably. <laughs> Damien Lewis plays a character who was kept as a hostage in the desert, locked up inside for eight years. Well, inside is the best place for him. It's hot out there and he's awfully ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie must catch Brody, even though she shagged him. If Damien Lewis had sex with me, I'd be chasing him for an hour every Sunday too. <laughs> to give him another thank you card. <laughs> version of Homeland would be very different because our government's so unpopular. They'd say, we've only got five minutes to save the Prime Minister. I'll write a letter to the army to get help. <laughs> They're always talking about moles as well, aren't they? When did moles get this reputation? <laughs> How effective can a spy be if it's blind? <laughs> Personally, I've never trusted stoats. <laughs> 
obsession with wires as well. I'm always wired. Well, underwired. <laughs> I'd like to say that show. Sure. <laughs> the underwire. It's a war. A war between discomfort and tits on your knees. <laughs> mission is to find out everything about the show, so here to face my interrogation is Homeland's Director of CIA Counterterrorism, David Haywood. Hello. Hello. Now, you're a very successful stage and screen actor, so I've got one main question for you. Go on. Why don't you do more shows with your top off? <laughs> um, mainly because nobody asks me. Oh. Mm. I would, I would <laughs> have done... Usually women in the audience go, ask him! Ask him! <laughs> ask him. <laughs> no, maybe later. Um, <laughs> your character is under permanent threat of attack. Mm. Um, what's it like living in Streatham? <laughs> You know, I love it because because it's so unpretentious, and you know, I I I I'm not very pretentious myself. So one minute I'm kind of flying off to LA and 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 kind of walking past palm trees and plastic surgeons. There's a plastic surgeon just opposite the hotel, and then the next minute you're on a plane, you're back to Streatham, and you're walking past Greggs and W. H. Smiths, and and I I love that. I I think it's um it's a great kind of it's a great leveler. And is there really a Greg's next door to Smith's? Yes. <laughs> in Saturn, not in Hollywood. No, no. Because yes. you could get your pasty and then, like, a take a break and then you're done. Exactly. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I'd not thought of it to stretch them. I do love a Greg's pasty. I like, I like the sausage, bean and cheese melt. <laughs> it makes me feel dirty in a really good way. <laughs> Dirty. Yeah, really, yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> Have you just done something there? No, no. <laughs> well, I'll check later. Um, <laughs> there's no time now. Um, Claire Danes did a lot of snot acting, didn't she? She did, yeah. She cried a lot. Um, do you think that's the main factor of the show's success? <laughs> her was, snot. There, was it her, like, um, I want, was it her snot? Or did somebody <laughs> come on? And, like, dabs not on? It was fake snot. It was fake? Yes. Is there, like, a snot wrangler? It's <laughs> <laughs> a snot wrangler comes in and just dabs it all over your face. Yeah. Somebody out the back with a cold just providing it. <laughs> are people genuinely surprised that you're British when they've seen you in that show? British people are surprised that I'm British. That's the really? scary... Yeah. <laughs> The scary thing is, I meet people in the street all the time and they say, what are you doing here? You're, you're an American. And I say, no, I'm British. It's a nice compliment, though. I've been, I've been working here for 25 years, so I was... <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever worry that your Brummie accent's going to come out? No, not really. <laughs> I... <I've> tried... <laughs> Are there tricks to this? There are tricks to it. There, there's certain words that you would find very... That, 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 that are key words. OK. So, I want you to say water, butter, weather. Water, butter, weather. <laughs> <laughs> Who's supposed to be laughing at me? <laughs> water, butter, weather. This could be more difficult than I thought. So, <laughs> now, I want you to say water. Water. <laughs> butter. Butter. Weather. 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 <laughs> I slipped, didn't I? You did slip. Weather. Water, you... butter, weather. <laughs> that was very... That was very, very, very sexy as well. Oh, you, thanks! You, 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 you dropped it down a little bit. I, I did. <laughs> Do you know the tricks for Geordie? Like, there's some words that are massively Geordie, so... See if you like this. Um, antibiotics. <laughs> Can you do that? Antibio uh, antibiotics. Antibiotics. I can't say bio. I can't say that for a second. Try another one. No, try another one. Go on. Um, monkey risotto. <laughs> monkey risotto. It's pretty good, isn't it? I need more time. I 
you've heard um, that uh, the best phrase for a brummy accent, and you might correct me on this, is Rouse beef munch to munch. <laughs> Gordon, is it more fun than skiing? <laughs> and is it because I think it's my least favourite of the water sports? Um, Which is your favourite? Of all the water sports? Yeah. Uh, bath. <laughs> <laughs> your character oversaw a good few lie detector tests. Mm. Have you ever taken one yourself? No, I've never taken... But I used to be quite a good liar. Oh, really? Mm. I was a very good liar. I remember back in the day. Especially with the ladies. Sorry, girls. Are you enjoying...? This is clapping. Somebody clapped! <laughs> oh, Where were you? <laughs> Out! <laughs> we just have him killed outside. <laughs> um... So you're... So you've never taken a lie detector test? No. No. Not a real um, one. Are you enjoying this interview? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's broken, it's broken. <laughs> you've been an amazing guest. Thank you ever so much for coming on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, David Hayward. <laughs> of teleprograms that really start to appeal as you get older and gardening shows are one of them. Gardener's World features someone called Bob Flowered You. <laughs> what a name for a gardener. If he worked in most gardens, he'd be called Kevin Catchit. <laughs> Watching those transformation garden shows. We've only got two days to totally transform this garden, otherwise, it's gonna take three days. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a garden for the first time as an adult, and I've watched the gardener programs, but they just don't answer all of my questions. Here are some things I'd still like to know Which weeds can I pretend are really plants? <laughs> Is next door watching me sunbathe through their window, and if not, how can I make them? <laughs> if I throw snails over the wall, how long will it take to come back? <laughs> how big does the garden have to be before I can justify a sit-on lawnmower? <laughs> how much weed killer would a 45-year-old man weighing about 14 stone <laughs> have to drink before I killed him, asking for a friend? <laughs> you can get rid of slugs with beer. If they end up pissed and a bit clingy, just leave a kebab out with a bit of salt. <laughs> One tip I read was to put Vaseline on birdhouse poles. Now I just have a garden full of lubed-up squirrels. <laughs> Apparently, and this is true, if you have lion poo in your garden, it stops wildlife digging up all your valuable plants. Personally, I'd say if you've got lions shitting in your garden, <laughs> you've got bigger problems than a few dead shrubs. <laughs> oh, there goes another postman. <laughs> it's a pity I thought he'd be able to run faster than that. <laughs> Maybe it's the catalogues that slowed him down. <laughs> I've just bought a strimmer for clearing the undergrowth. <laughs> Lady Shave just wasn't robust enough. <laughs> is a keen gardener. He's got a loft full of plants. Seems happy enough. <laughs> I noticed some foxgloves in my garden yesterday. They were really lovely. So I hung them on the fence in case the fox who dropped them comes past again. <laughs> there are some plants that are poisonous and shouldn't be eaten under any circumstances. I call them vegetables. <laughs> I used to love playing out when I was a kid, happy on my own. The upside of loneliness is that you get really good at swing ball. 
<laughs> it was only recently that I found out you're supposed to play it with two people. <laughs> I just thought it was a spare bat. <laughs> My friend and her horrible husband had a huge row about their patio makeover. I asked her what he was so angry about, and she said he wants Deccan. And I said I couldn't agree more, but what's he angry about? <laughs> some help on this. So please welcome top television gardener, Dermot Gavin. <laughs> Hello, love. How are you? I'm great, Sarah. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for coming on the show, love. Now, how would you tend my lady garden? <laughs> it, describe it to me. Is it unruly or is it beautifully manicured? <laughs> two-man job. <laughs> <laughs> What's I the... can do the work of three men. <laughs> <laughs> you bring Titchmarsh and Monty and we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> what makes something a weed and how can I tell? What's the difference between a weed and a plant? There is no difference. A weed is just a plant growing in a place you don't want it. So something growing where you don't want it to grow. <laughs> Problem is planting too deep. <laughs> now, that surprises me because I didn't think you could go too deep. <laughs> what are you planting? <laughs> oh, now it's a proper question about gardening. Um, <laughs> uh, a man's cock. Uh, <laughs> Until it stops. Um... Okay, it, in bulbs, a lot of people ask that question for, for bulbs. So twice the depth of the bulb, and it'll always go towards the light. Just like a man's. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that about a man's <laughs> bulb. <laughs> How long does it take you to harden off? <laughs> It depends on who's asking. <laughs> what grows well in warm, damp conditions and does it respond to caniston? <laughs> Mushrooms and no. Oh. Now, beef tomatoes, are they promising something they just can't deliver? <laughs> Uh, they're just big, juicy tomatoes. That's all. That's There's all. no meat in them at all. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever dug up anything odd in a garden? I dug up a cat once. <gasps> <laughs> Was it dead? It was, and kind of the lady had told me she'd buried the cat in the garden, and I just forgot where, so... Up it came with the digger. <laughs> now, how can I tell if a trampoline will take me weight? <laughs> we just put a trampoline in our garden. If it takes me, it'll take you, and it'll even take the two of us. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's a weird offer, but I'm up for it. Um... <laughs> to save rainwater. Do you like big butts and you cannot lie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you you so much, <laughs> what is the correct position in a garden for a semi-deflated space hopper? Because <laughs> I've got one and I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Is space hopper a kind of euphemism? No. Uh, what? I don't know what a 
would be a euphemism for. <laughs> it's just like an inflatable thing. It's got ears that you hold on to. <laughs> I've never realised how ridiculous this first of us sounds. <laughs> when you just rub it and you sit on it and then you bounce along. You blow this thing up. Yes. You sit on it. You sit on it, you hold on to its ears, and, and you bounce it. along like that. Are you on one now? <laughs> I can't believe you just made me describe a space. <laughs> Is it still acceptable to wee in a paddling pool at the age of 38? <laughs> Me dad. Um, <laughs> what's your favourite tool? I am quite partial to a long handled shovel with a long wooden shaft. It, it's very good for the back. <laughs> Digging, you know? Yeah. It, it's the back. No, I like a, I like a long shaft. Um, <laughs> not too good for my back, though. Um, <laughs> Has your wife ever imposed a horse pipe on? <laughs> it's been lovely having you on the show, ladies and gentlemen, Dermot Gavin. gardening programmes and shows for older people, but I can still enjoy a bit of youth TV. On Cribs, a camera crew is shown around a celebrity's house. Often it's not even their house, which must be tricky when you're showing people around. <laughs> this is the lounge. <laughs> this is the ensuite kitchen. <laughs> this is the wardrobe where I keep all of me gimp. <laughs> Where we keep the wine. <laughs> Catfish is a show that follows people on the internet who are having relationships with other people on the internet who are lying about who they are. <laughs> but you can tell straight away, too many jobs. Oh, um, he's lovely. He's, um, he's a rapper and a male model and a footballer <laughs> and a cowboy. <laughs> Some people call him Maurice. <laughs> shows this year was the big reunion where they reunited 90s pop bands for one last concert slash tour. Old awesome bands, couple of new faces. Same people, just new faces. <laughs> the boy bands really exaggerated how busy they were. Blue work seven day weeks. Five didn't even have a day off in six months. 911 had to invent a new month in 1996 just to get through their world tour. <laughs> Surely the most offensive thing isn't being asked to do the show, it's being asked when you're still going. When your manager rings you, good news, got you on that big reunion, but we're still together. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry, lads, I didn't know. <laughs> but if you like people singing on TV, there's nothing better than Glee. Glee couldn't be any camper if Dale Winton turned up singing ABBA songs while wearing sequined bumless cowboy chaps. <laughs> If they had a British version, it would be called Glum. <laughs> a bunch of talented losers who don't end up doing anything because after-school club funding has been cut. <laughs> While fans of Glee are called Gleeks, fans of Glum would be called Glunts. <laughs> We never had a glee club at our school, which is just as well. People seem to have enough reasons to bully me without tap dancing and singing show tunes. <laughs> I love watching glee, but I can't watch it with my boyfriend because he doesn't understand that sometimes a band just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> He'll watch Game of Thrones and find all of that fantasy nonsense totally feasible, but where did the band come from? <laughs> they weren't there before, and no one ever thanks them. <laughs> What I'd like to do is find out more about my favourite show, so please welcome all the way from Glee Club, it's Matthew Morrison. Hello. <laughs> now, Glee is my favourite show, 
So the question I have to ask you is, are you really here? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, I am really here, uh, but I, 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 you know, my name is Matthew, not Will. Now, I'm re in real life, I'm not the kind of guy who actually hangs out around high schools. <laughs> I bet you're glad to hear that. That's probably for the yeah. rest, isn't it? Yeah, that's fair enough. I love Glee. I love all the singing and all the dancing, but tell me, how do you get your curls so tight? <laughs> You've got a bloody good head of hair on you. Thank you. I thank my mom for that. Uh, but I... Does she blow dry it for you? She does. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it true you only ate potatoes so that you could have a, get a six-pack? That was a diet that you did. Is that true? Sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> Were you just eating, did you try it? Did you just, just have potatoes? Just chips every day. <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't much of a change from what I was doing before. <laughs> That's annoying. You play a Spanish teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the sexiest thing you can say in Spanish? I can't really say Spanish. <laughs> oh. Um, 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 I love you. Jabon y chugo. That just sounded like you were putting an accent on. <laughs> I love I you. Just... I won't let you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> actually, it sounds like I love you, I won't let you go, but I actually just said um, lips, ham, and lettuce. <laughs> That works for me. That works for me. Come on, let you go. I love your ham. <laughs> and your lettuce. And I won't let your lettuce go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make that sound rude. It doesn't sound that rude at the minute, but we'll work on it. <laughs> what is the first rule of Glee Club? Is it you can't speak a cappella outside of Glee Club? That's right, absolutely, <laughs> That's yeah. Okay. And, and, and you know, you never thank the band, like you said. That's, <laughs> that, that's a rule. Never thank the band. Never thank the band. <laughs> the Five, do? six, seven, eight. No, shut up. <laughs> um, can I smell you? That was just. A, I mean, that's. Just... <laughs> Which part of me would you like to smell? <laughs> like a neck would do. A neck? Is that okay? Here, okay. I'll come over to you. Oh, okay. I'll come over to you. <laughs> It's fine. Um, do you know the second? No, it's only two inches <laughs> from the ground. <laughs> wow, that is impressive. That is, you must have very short legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, now you said you're very proud to be Scottish. I don't think many people know that you are Scottish. I am. Oh. No, I absolutely am. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Scottish roots? I... Th three generations. Oh, you're not Scottish then. Shut no, your face. No, no. No. I'm not a real... Scot you're not a real no, one. No. Now, you did a gig at the White House for the Obamas. That must have been terrifying. It was a, at Christmas time and I did a Christmas... a Hawaiian Christmas song because he's from Hawaii. Because you sucked up to him properly, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> now, Obama gave you a hug afterwards. How did that feel? Did you just feel really safe? Does he give good hug? He does. You know what? When Obama is in the room, he is the coolest guy in the room. Like, hands down. He is just a really cool guy. And it was a cool hug. Was it a bit too long? Did you hold on for a bit too long? <laughs> no, because you get a Secret Service member, like, kind of pulling you off right away. Yeah, you wow, can't say that. pull you long. off as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me any vocal warm-ups. Is there anything that you always do before you start singing? Uh, my, vo my vocal warm-ups sound pretty nasty, but I'll give you a tame one. Really? Um, oh, I could do a nasty one. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I've heard. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess that's, that's is... because I told you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dressing room two. All right. Uh, <laughs> 
Bumblebee, 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 bumblebee. Bumblebee, 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 bumblebee. Should I give it a go? Yeah. Bumblebee, bumblebee. <laughs> it's just what I talk like, Sean. <laughs> bumblebee, bumblebee, bumblebee. Yeah. Bumblebee, bumblebee. Is that right? Yeah, you need some water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a shotgun. Um, <laughs> do you think I would make it in Glee Club? Nope. Help tidy up Just after Glee Club. Don't even audition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, no, I, I meant to say, don't stop believing. <laughs> but I think I could fit in really well because okay. I'm a bit of an outcast and I, I wear glasses and that's it, isn't it? So you're, <laughs> you're an outcast with your own damn TV show. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, let's hope the people from school are watching. <laughs> Song is Cliff Richards Wired for Sound. <laughs> I don't think I know that one. You don't know? I don't know that one. Well, you know Cliff Richard? <gasps> oh, dang. I'm in trouble, huh? Oh my god. Have you. You've I, never heard of I've Cliff never Richard? Heard of Cliff Richard. He's like our Elvis. Uh, obviously. <laughs> I'm gonna get like booed off stage in a second. Now, you do a bit of breakdancing, don't you? I did. Oh, you did. Back in the day, I call it broke dancing now. Oh. <laughs> because every time I do it, I like, I, you know, I'm older now, so I like my back hurts the next day, and it's just, it's not a good thing. That's fair enough. Can yeah. you? I like, I mostly dance sitting down, like especially when I'm driving and stuff. Uh -huh. um, can you give me any tips for sit down dancing? Sit down dancing, mm -hmm. like the, the roll, the wave, just like this, you know. But if you're driving, I don't. You might go. Open, I could get it all the way out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Ow. that. Like that. <laughs> Probably shit at this. Um, I don't think it should happen in there. What was that? Nothing. What happened there? You just kind of turned me on a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you appeared in a TV movie called Once Upon a Mattress. I did. Was it a porno? <laughs> Once upon a mattress and twice against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a karaoke king on a night out? No. Not at all. No. Really? Why? No, the thing is, like, when 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 you go to do karaoke, I feel like if you're actually a really good singer, people don't like it because it's 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 more for like fun and just. So my karaoke, my go-to karaoke song is "Baby Got Back." Right. By Sir Mix a lot. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> you other brothers can't deny. Yeah, that's my go to carries. It's carries. also good to know. It's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all information. Um, when I do karaoke, I do it in a private booth. Okay. Um, I like. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the only thing I do in a private booth, but let's not we'll save that for later. But I like the small speakers and I like the tall speakers. And uh, <laughs> if they've got music, then they're wired for sound. <laughs> Yeah, boys.
Unfortunately, we haven't had time to talk about high school shows oh. like Grange Hill. They never did songs. Well, they did, but it was about heroin. <laughs> <laughs> They're bringing back Dawson's Creek. He's older now and manages the creek with cod liver oil. <laughs> and we haven't had time to talk about The Wire. People complained they couldn't understand what was being said. Southerners had the same problem with Biker Grove. <laughs> On 24. Proof of what a bloke can get done in a day when he puts his mind to it. <laughs> Good night. And if you fancy more comedy now, catch up with The Wrong Man's, the series so far available on the BBC iPlayer. Secrets, lies and a conspiracy at the highest level next tonight. Romila Garay and Eddie Redmayne star in Glorious 39.